Hey everyone, it's me, Anna. This is kind of an impromptu video because um, I get this error whenever I'm trying to open the Spotify and it has an update, uh, you know, trying to get installed. Every time I open the installer, not every time, but most of the times, it'll show up with this, the installer encountered an unknown error, error code 24. And I know how to fix this because I went scouring the forums for an answer to this question and I found one. But as far as I know, there's no actual YouTube video version of this. So uh, I wanted to go ahead and make that for those of us who are more visual learners. Um, shout out to Valik on the Spotify forums for making this tutorial. Uh, apparently, uh, from what I'm seeing in here in this, in this post, it's pretty commonplace to have... Um, like IT policies in like a workplace or in other situations where you can't run EXEs from the app data folder. And I mean, this is not uh, the case for me, uh, but you know, that could prevent people from um, installing updates. And you know, also just that error just keeps popping up. So the, 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 the way to solve the problem is first of all, uh, you need to navigate to your app data folder because that's where the Spotify update is held. And so me personally, uh, I can just go in, uh, like go straight over because my, as you can see, my windows shows all of my hidden folders. Um, if you don't have that set up though, uh, which I'll just, uh, do this because it would work for anybody, even people who do have the hidden folders, you could just do, app data and the percent again and it'll show up with a folder and that'll be your app data folder so you open that folder and this is a bit laggy on my end because of OBS but I think that it should uh, if I understand correctly it, it kind of it looks a lot better on OBS or on the recording itself um, so you have uh, oh I'm sorry don't go into the roaming though it, it, uh, you go into app data did it open the roaming folder hold on let me do this again I didn't do that on purpose if I did let me see app data okay yeah so it, it automatically puts you on the roaming folder but you don't want to touch that folder what you want to do is go to app data go back to this the root folder here app data and then go to local and then once you're in the local folder you hopefully don't have this many folders in there uh, you go to uh, the Spotify folder right here uh, Jesus Christ. And then so the Spotify folder should have, among other things, a folder called update. And as you can see, uh, that is where it downloaded the installer. See, it downloaded it on the 18th, two days ago. Um, and, you know, it's been trying to install it. It keeps screwing it up. So what you do is you get the contents of this folder. And you copy them to your desktop. Uh, I mean, yeah, copy, copy them and paste them in your desktop. As you can see, I already have this here because I've done this a couple times now. Um, so, uh, when you look, when you open your update folder, it should just be the same. I have a couple installers in here because I, again, I've done this a couple times in the past month, but, um, it should just have this installer and then the update folder and this args. Uh, file so don't touch this file you don't need to do anything with this file in this one uh, you want to open it right now uh, I have notepad plus plus I really should just uh, do this because if you don't have notepad plus plus you can just open it with notepad uh, by doing this and then going into the old context menu and then doing open with I thought it would say edit in the thing but that's okay uh, hopefully it just has notepad in your apps. If not, then, um, you have to do what I just did. You have to right click it and then find notepad. So you open this with notepad. You can also just like, um, you know, open notepad and then go to, uh, you know, just file open, um, you need to do all files and then just go desktop update and then update or open the update.json here and so you want to change this path so that it matches where the installer is now because this is the installer it's referring to this file is is that file 
So you want to change it to this path so that it points to the right file and it runs the right installer because that file didn't exist anymore, the one that it's pointing to in this. Uh, so you want to change that so that the, you know the file does exist and it actually is able to update. So uh, you could just copy paste it. Sorry, I wasn't even explaining what I was doing there, but you can um, right click this and then click um, copy as path and it'll copy it as uh, you know the path to the file which is the in the exact format that this takes so you just paste it in there make sure it has the quotation marks it should just show up all this other stuff you don't have to touch because it should be accurate and then so you close out of this and then what you do is you just run the installer and it's gonna install see so you notice the error message didn't pop up which is a very good sign And then once it's done installing, uh, that should be it. Yep. And then it opens up the new version of Spotify. So yeah, uh, it's silly that um, that's even a thing that we have to do with Spotify. Process because I was explaining everything, but once you do it a couple times not that bad so yeah again shout out to valak here i'll put a link to the that um this post in the description matter of fact i'll copy this now so i don't forget it and yeah uh that's it thank you for watching and hopefully you got some help out of this damn spotify is not initializing obs is lagging it out real bad i guess here let me just open it again oh yeah that's not so that that that's just my computer does that because Spotify doesn't although you know as an a side if you get that error uh, and you're it, usually you just have to wait for Spotify to close out all the way but if you don't want to do that you can go into here and scroll down and find Spotify processes find the one that's using the most oh Jesus where did it go find the one that's using the most memory which is this one and then just end task and then you can just open it again and then it'll work. <laughs> so yeah, that's two areas. I just killed two birds with one stone here. Uh, and that's the end of the video. Okay, bye. <laughs>